Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. And a good two-strike breaking ball there, but this will wind up missing. It's one and two. A little chilly, but not unbearable tonight. 55 degrees here at first pitch. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely fooled because that was a curveball and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. Fouled away. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the start at nine for this one. Hit on the ground out to short, taken in by Gregorius. In time to first, and there are two away. That is her. Now to the plate, Michael Conforto. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Matty, this definitely looks like a situation where somebody's going to have to call a team meeting. I don't know if it comes from a veteran or the manager decides to close the doors for a second, but this team... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Mets go down one... Here's the first pitch to him. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And gone. An absolute bomb. So it's a solo home run to lead off the bottom of the first. Number 26 for him on the season, and the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. He's one of the best home run hitters in the league, and rightfully so. You're not going to get cookies thrown at you every at bat. Most guys can handle a fastball, but he waited back on that off speed pitch and drove it right out of the yard. Gene Segura standing in as he'll swing and pop this one up near second base. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. The 0-1. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. fouled off got to take advantage of that pitch right there 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate not going to see too many of those today nothing in two count and the pitch great change up there in the dirt for the third strike and the throw to first is there to record the second out well you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt and you still get the hitter to swing at it that tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now Riding in, JT Real Muto with just a few games left to play. He comes into this one with a sizable lead in the home run standings. And the way he's swinging the bat, I don't think anyone catches him. It's got to be a nice feeling stepping to the plate knowing you're going to end up a home run champ. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and the side is retired. 
But the Phillies strike first on this solo home run. Here it comes. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. A solo shot here to left, number 22 on the year, as the Mets have come back to tie things at one. You want to certainly drive home runs out of the ballpark, then you better get on the gas. And that's what he did right there. That fastball was not sneaking by him. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Throws him on the bender there, and he's in the hole 0 2. Sort of surprising to see a five hole hitter take two in a row for strikes to start at bat. Now he's way behind the count, so we'll see if he can battle back. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Clint Frazier becomes the first out of the inning. Yoenis Cespedes comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Behind 0 and 2 now. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job bouncing that's back from that home run to strike out the next two guys. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep, but it's all about how you respond that really matters. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Three and oh now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four-pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Frazier in front, three balls and a strike. And he fouls this one off. 3-2 pitch. He's at the knees and called strike three. But the Mets are able to square things up on... Digging in now, Didi Gregorius. He enters play in the hunt for the league's home run crown, but he'll have some work to do down the stretch. Gregorius is swung on and bounced to McNeil at second. And a good throw gets him one gone. Stepping into the box, Reese Hoskins. He enters play in the hunt for the league's home run crown, but he'll have some work to do down the stretch. First pitch sinker misses in on the hands that time. It's a ball and no strikes. Fellas, these Mets, as they enter play here tonight, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matty, they got beat up on the homestand. Losing record in front of the home crowd, never good. But I always used to say, sometimes it's good to get on the road. Remove yourself, get out to a restaurant, see a different city, shower it off, and try and fight in front of some hostile fans. Lazy fly ball out to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Man, he's seeing it like a beach ball right now. Even his soft is contact is finding no holes. Yeah. He's making it nearly impossible for a pitcher right now. Up, down, in and out, hard, soft. Anything you throw forward to home plate, this guy seems to somehow be able to find a hole. Into the box now, Andrew McCutcheon. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hoskins, base runner at first with one out. That's popped up. And this will land foul. McCutcheon. 33 years old he was a first round pick back in 2005. Yeah Maddie they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name and kids are buying his jerseys. I like that pitch on 0 and 2 there busted him in and even though he missed with that one that hitter isn't as likely to dive out. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Just tied him up with that last pitch. Gotta Pretty evident by the swing. Sometimes guys get in that protect mode so much that they're swinging at everything that they see, and they end up offering at pitches that they can't possibly do anything with. 
Into the box now, Adam Hazley. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. 258 the average to begin play, and even 20 home runs and 37 RBIs. Here's the 0 1 pitch. That ball foul. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1 1 ball game. Fouled away. Fouled off. The 0 2 once more. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. One left for Philadelphia. Through two, we're tied one apiece. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch, and it's fouled away. One and one to Chirinos. And that's high and off the plate, two and one. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Let's we'll to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through for a hit. Hey, nice A-B right there. With the pitcher coming to the plate, your job is to get on in front of him. This should be interesting. Does he get the bunt sign? Do we play a little billy ball and pull it back and try and play chicklets with the third baseman? See what happens. To second for one. On to first. Not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 tie. And he fouls this one off. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up. Wow, the throw pulls him off the bag. So you can mark that one down as an E5, and I bet he'd like to have that one over. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And next will be the speed threat, Ahmed Rosario. First and second now, one man out. Fastball just inside. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Looked like he was cheating the heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. This one's flared toward left center, and that's going to fall for a base hit. And the runner will score from second as they take a two-to-one lead. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where you get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Conforto is a guy that thrives in these opposite-handed matchups. He's often considered one of the absolute best hitters in the game against right-handed pitching. Yeah, because he's thinking big part of the field. He's not a dead pull guy. This is a guy that likes to use gap to gap. And when that's happening, you stay. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Mets played a run on a. Leading off the inning, Zach Eflin, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. The pitcher. He slaps that one away, and the count will be nothing in one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control, 0-2. A one ball, two strike count to the Phillies pitcher. Ball. 
Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Now at the plate, Not Alec bad. Bohm. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. That last at bat, that showed me something. It's not that easy to hit a changeup over 400 plus feet out of the ballpark. So this guy gets some good extension, strong wrist, and this guy's got some terrific bat Number speed. Number two, second baseman. Now at the plate, Gene Segura. First pitch coming, here it is. Lifted in the air to center field. Cespedes is there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Phillies down. Next for the Mets, Keith Alonzo. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Going back to that last A-B, that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gone to lead off the inning. So a solo shot here to left center field, his second of the game, and the Mets have taken a 3-1 to one lead. Hey, I've seen a lot of things in my time, but I'm not sure I ever remember a player this hot. Two home runs yesterday, another two home runs today, he could market and sell whatever pregame meals he's feasting on because he looks unstoppable right now. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And it's a foul ball. Oh, that's frustrating right there. He was right on that fastball. Took it deep. Just couldn't keep it fair. How many times have you seen it? There's a good chance he's punching out right here. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Well, when you're going as well as he is, not even a two-strike count is going to get in your way. Yeah, Matty, he's having a monster season, well over 300. Right there, when you're feeling that confident at the plate, it doesn't matter what the count is. You're willing to go deep and still feel confident. Yoenis Cespedes will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Behind 0-2 now. Three runs, five hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far bounce towards the mound. Segura for one. Throw on to first. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. And kids, this is why you always go hard into second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. Todd Frazier is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Well, he kind of tipped it. Now, here's a fly ball. Well hit. Center fielder going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now batter. Catcher. Here's the first pitch to him. Robinson Chirinos will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Slow little grounder left side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Bryce Harper comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the 8th or ninth inning. So the base is empty here with one away, and that brings up JT Real Muto. Here comes the first pitch. Hard hit ball to second. He's got it. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home court. Up next to Philadelphia. Not your stop. DD. Gregorius. Here's Didi Gregorius. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A-B that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And 
Next to hit will be the pitcher, Noah Syndergaard. He'll start off the fifth in this one. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Right side, but it's well foul. The next 0 2. On the ground to third. Fielded cleanly. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So here's Jeff McNeil. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And here's a fastball called for strike one. 3 to 1 our score as we play inning number five. One and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. Into the corner and slicing foul. One and two, here it comes. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Harper. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. The batter, number one. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Owen won the count. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Just getting blown away so far. No reason to throw anything else to speed up his bat. Just stay right there. Now this is swung on, and here's another fly ball out to right field. Harper is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Nothing across. And we're back from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And he told me that they have to find a way to be more patient at the plate. He talked about how it's been one first pitch out after another, and that's been extremely frustrating to watch. They like to encourage their hitters to be aggressive, but to do so selectively. That means swinging at good pitches to hit, and given the eight first pitch outs they've hit into, that doesn't appear to be the case today. Okay, thank you, Heidi. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here's a high pop-up. McNeil is there for it. He's got it one away. Now back. Into the box, the Andrew move. McCutcheon. He's That's 0 for 1 thus far. Okay. Now McCutcheon belts one, carrying well to left field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. It's a solo shot off the bat of Andrew McCutcheon. Number 35 now on the season. And the Phils have cut it to a 3-2 game now. Oh, a little quick jump right there. He does it in a variety of different ways. That time, first pitch out of the gate, he was coming unglued. Into the box, Adam Hazley. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher. But if he could throw some four-seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. 
two runs three hits and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. Good bike to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Scott Kingery will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number four. Kingery. High fly ball out to straightaway center. After it is Cespedes. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. But the Phils draw a bit closer thanks to this. Blake Parker is going to get the call in something of a surprising move here as they're bringing in their closer in the sixth inning. Parker. Here's the first pitch to him. And he gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. Ready with the 0-1. Well, that's, that's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Fouled away. Ready on one and two. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Looked to me like he had the right idea with the swing on that pitch. And he just didn't get the bat through the zone in time. The pitch was away. He let it get deep, maybe trying to take it the other way. But it got too deep and was by him by the time his barrel could get in the correct position. Here's the 0-2. Nope. That's inside. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. Back up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. You think he's not setting a tone for this series right there? Third knock of the night and we're only in game one. This could be huge. Clint Frazier is the batter now as he looks at a ball of one and oh. He's working on a one for two game so far. Here's a fly ball well hit. McCutcheon going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now batting, the center fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. Here's Ioannis Cespedes. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. Two out with the man at first. Oh, and two now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. There seem to be different philosophies. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Met Strand. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the third baseman, Alec Bowen. High in the air out to center field. Cespedes is there. One out. One out for the Phils in their half of the sixth, and that'll bring in the middle infielder Gene Segura. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Here comes Cespedes. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The right fielder, number three. Stepping up to the plate, Bryce Harper over two for him to this point. In the air to right center and carrying well. Way back there now and gone. Home run. A solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper. Home run number 62 on the year. And the Phillies have pulled even now with 3-3. Sure, you know it's coming after that bomb. That's right. Let's check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, we see it was projected at over 450 feet. An incredible home run to watch. In now, now JT Real Muto. Yes, swing and lift the ball fouled off to the left and out of play. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Real Muto behind with an 0-2 count now. 
Hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there in the inning. Here's Todd Frazier now. Mano a mano with Blake Parker. He's one for three. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. There's Segura. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now that at the plate, Robinson Chirinos. One for two on his line so far in the game. Strike one to start the at bat. Now the 0-1. Hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. A ball and two strikes now. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one-two. Now he extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. Not quite out of here. It's off the out-of-town scoreboard. Boy, D-roll, that looked like extra bases right off the bat. This thing caroms off the wall. Outfielder does a great job of getting it in quickly and probably does a good job holding him to a single. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not standing on second base there, but you run the replay back. He was busting it out of the box. It's just a nice job by the defense to hold him to a single. Jeff McNeil is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. In there, and it's 0-2 now. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. And he'll break through with a solid knock here, his first of the ball game. That's why I always said, Dan, there's no justice in this game. This guy watches two pitches over the heart of the plate and then gets a knock on a ball way out of the zone. Boy, you said it. There's no justice in baseball, d -Row. It's just us. Takes two pitches right down the <laughs> middle and then... Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Two left for the Mets. No change in the score. It's three to three. Last half of the seventh here, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Didi Gregorius. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and zero. Oh. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And they have taken the lead. A solo shot here to left, and that's home run number 48 on the year as they take the lead 4-3. Manager's up off the bench on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So we'll leave after six rather nondescript innings of work as he stands to be the loser in this one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Oh, there it goes. In the air to left center. And you can forget about this one. Back-to-back -back home runs. Reese Hoskins with a solo shot. Home run number 58 on the year. And it's now 5-3. to three. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. Liner towards second. And McCutcheon has himself a base hit. Now back, center fielder, Adam Paisley. At the plate now, Adam Hazley grounded down the third baseline. The 
the 0-1 pitch is taken. That's ball one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 1-1. One -one. Softly hit here to the left side. But gloved by the third baseman for the out. Jay Bruce will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. Swing and a miss on a pitch below the knees. One strike. Still only one out in the inning. Grounded weakly to the left. And indeed he won't look at second. He'll just flip it on over to first to take the sure out. The batter, the third baseman, Alex Bone. Standing in, Alec Bone, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch towards second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Eighth inning coming up. Phillies lead this one 5-3. to three. Number 96 enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 96. All set for the start of the inning and standing in the outfielder, Michael Conforto. No balls and a strike to count. Left side, but well foul. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Pete Alonzo stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. 0 oh, 1 count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0 oh, 2. He's having a great day at the dish. His timing is spot on. This pitching staff's going to have to find a different way of attacking him. Count is 1 and 2 now. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. So stepping in, Clint Frazier. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. Three and one to the Mets left fielder. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Now that you want to striding in next over three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Tying run at the plate the 0 1. Well that's pretty much a no brainer right there. If a guy misses that bad on a curveball you've got to throw him another one. That was better recognition there. Two balls and a strike now. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Jerry Spamilia is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 27. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Gene Segura. And he lays off there 1-0. Familia is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. He's set. Here it comes. Bryce Harper is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0 1. One out, nobody on. And 
Here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for out number two. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. And that's inside. Looked like the slider, and it's 2-0. and oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he has a cut at that one, but misses 2-1. and one. Here's the pitch. On the ground to the left side. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Phillies. All set to start the ninth in this one. And standing in a power threat in Todd Frazier, the third baseman. No balls in one strike. In there, strike two. Great pitch right there. That is a huge breaking ball. Not shocked he took it. Got to calibrate that one for a second. The next 0 2 is swung on and missed strike three. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Robinson Chirinos is at the plate now and he takes a cold strike. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Racing back the center fielder. Gone! So a solo shot here to left center field. As they pull within one here, it's now a 5-4 game. Robinson Cano will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Line to the right side. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Loud noises right here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have to mix it up a little bit more because they are on his stuff. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both. Oh, no, he can't hold on to it. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. And, boy, a terrific effort out there as we take a second look. Stretches out about as far as he can, but he just can't quite get there, though they were lucky to hold him to just a single. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. Bare-handed for one. Back to first, a double play, and with that, the ball game is over. Well, in hindsight, it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. This evening's game comes to an end, 5-4, the final tally. Philadelphia jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Blake Parker wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year.